Hello there and welcome to the CMOS, to the Code Maven open source podcast and interview series where we are talking about uh, interesting uh, open source projects with interesting people. Uh, I'm your host, Gabor Sabo, and with me is, uh, uh, and I really hope I, I pronounce your name correctly and please correct me afterwards, uh, Obin Van Hill, right? From uh, yes, RestiveJS. How are you? Yeah, that's, that's, that's correct. Obi Wan Hill. Um, oh. Yeah, you, you you almost got it, so that's that's fine. Uh, I'll practice, and hopefully I get to uh, improve it by the, you know, I don't know, next time we'll talk. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, so please t- tell me about a little bit about yourself. Uh, okay, well, I am a web designer developer. I actually started out um, web design before I went into uh, development with PHP. Um, JavaScript actually came you know, much later, I started JavaScript about uh, back in 2010. And um, yeah, so I, I started uh, Restive uh, back in 2013. And um, we've just been doing um, web design, web development services for, um, you know, a diverse, uh, diverse set of clients. But what, what we've also been trying to do is to, um, is to develop techniques um, in web de- Design and development, um, um, basically just things that that, that like pl- like trying to develop, you know, you know, different ways of uh, doing things online, doing things on the web, um, you know. So that's where the idea for uh, Restive JS, which was uh, an open source project for, um, uh, it's actually designer friendly uh, toolkit for for building. Um, Responsive website, which is which is is, is based on jQuery, um, so that's where the idea for that came up. So um, we've been using that to build um, to build website, and we've been happy that uh, thousands of developers um, around the world and some some pretty impressive uh, companies have also um, used the plugin uh, on their website. So it's it's been it's been pretty interesting, um, especially since now we're trying to rejig. Um, we're trying to reject the plugin and um, also launch a couple of new products later in the year and next year. So it's been uh, it's been pretty busy, and um, you know it's 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 been fun. I mean the web is really it's really changing. It, it's getting a lot more complicated, but um, we're doing our best to try and uh, to try and simplify things. Um, yeah. You're running a little bit ahead now of us. I wanted to talk a little bit more about your your background and uh, how. How did you, did you get into programming and um, the so on? Oh, okay. Um, well, actually, if I could go back all the way back to maybe my teenage years, um, uh, I guess I've always been fascinated with um, technology, um, especially when the uh, the internet hit. Um, I guess my my first interaction was. I guess probably in uh, in the mid '90s, um, yeah, back when I I I started college. Um, so the internet was was pretty much just breaking in there, and um, you know, growing up growing up in Nigeria, it's not. Uh, I mean, these services weren't exactly very accessible. I mean, you could only get them in big offices, um, so it was it was pretty difficult to. Um, uh, you know, to, to get access. But I, I was lucky that um, the place where I did sort of like an internship um, uh, was was with uh, was with um, I mean one of my dad's friends at the time who who had a telecommunications um, consultancy uh, company. So um, you know they they had an internet connection. So it, it, you know I was really inspired by you know, how the web worked and, um, you know, the, the, the promise that I guess it could have. Um, I mean, the promise that we see today, I mean, the web is everywhere. Um, so I was, um, I mean, I was inspired to to learn how everything worked behind the scenes because you see web pages and you're like, you know, how did, how did um, you know, how did they build this? How did all this come together? Um, so I was really interested to know, you know, the nuts and bolts of, um, you know, of what, what uh, what web pages were made up. So to, that that that's what actually sparked my interest in um, in learning um, HTML. So you know, I I got a couple of books. You know, just started reading. Um, you know, reading up on tags. Um, 
you know, a few a few years later, you know, getting into CSS and then a few years after that, getting into um, PHP. So it, it's just been like an, an iterative process of learning um, the technologies that, that you need um, to build websites that, you know, that that um, that at least could could, um, you know, could I mean, websites that, you know, that that could do stuff, you know, not just putting up a web page, but functional websites, you know, like e-commerce websites and, you know, uh, you know, both both the front end and the back end. So it's just been it's just been, uh, you know, a journey of learning and trying to understand all the technologies that make up uh, that make up, uh, you know, a functional functional website. So you started us uh, as a with an internship, uh, but it's, it wasn't web yet. What kind of things? Uh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't web. It wasn't web yet. It was more like, okay, this is the internet, and you know, the internet. That there's so many aspects to it. I mean, there's the network aspect, you know, and there's, there are tons of stuff that make up make up the internet. So um, at, at the time, I was I was looking more at the network aspect, like you know, Cisco. Cisco was um, was pretty hot uh, as a company at that time, and everybody was trying to get uh, Cisco certifications at the time. So I was looking into that as well. Um, but but then I I I I discovered that the the networking wasn't really my um, wasn't really my thing. I I wanted to be more uh, front facing. Um, so that's where the whole thing with web pages came into it, and that's where HTML came. Uh, came into it, so so really, you could you could get you could get books, um, you know, on on virtually any aspect you wanted. If you if you wanted to 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 go the Cisco route, you could get a you 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 could get a Cisco cert book. If you wanted TCP/IP, you could get that. If you wanted HTML, so you know there there, there were pretty good resources um, available at the time, mostly books, um, you know. So it, it it just it just depended on you. Um, uh, figuring out what what aspect you wanted to be uh, you wanted to be part of. And then, th did you get a job in in uh, web programming all this part? Uh, or? Oh, actually, actually, I I what I did was I I, uh, I I started a company like in uh, two thousand and four, um, and that was that was just like a way of okay, I'm learning these skills. Let me put these skills to use and provide services for. Um, for small businesses in the area, um, so so that's actually how that came about. It, it, it was it was me um, trying to use the skills I had learned to provide services for um, for small businesses. Yeah, so so that's that's I, I was learning at the same time and also providing the service at, at the same time. So so you were um, building websites, I guess. And yes, yeah, so I was building websites. You know, small business websites. I was I was also um, um, websites weren't, weren't always the thing at the time. Some, some, sometimes some, some clients, I guess, all they wanted was, you know, something as simple as email. You know, we don't need a website. We just want, you know, a professional email address, you know, at ourcompany.com kind of thing. So I, so I also said, okay, fine. Instead of saying, let me focus only on websites, I'll, I'll also provide web hosting as well. So, um, yeah, so the company was pretty much, you know, um, a web hosting slash website uh, company. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, so that, that uh, did it gr grow? Or do you have employees, or, or are you um, busy? Yeah, we, had, we had a couple of employees, but um, that business didn't actually do. It, it didn't do. It didn't do great. Um, basically, because of uh, scalability. I mean, there wasn't. Um, you know, I, I it was all it was all bootstrapped. You know, there wasn't there wasn't any like external funding or anything to accelerate the business. So basically, it was everything we were making um, from revenue. And you know, anyone would tell you that that's not actually the that's not the best way to um, you know to start a company. I mean, even now, I'm 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 still a lot uh, focused on the bootstrap nature of starting a business. Like uh, even though a lot of people are. Like okay, first thing they do is once they get the idea, they run out and they go and start trying to get um, venture capital. You know, I I try to spend a little bit of time perfecting um, the product. You know, maybe a little bit too much time. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to change my uh, 
uh, my attitude towards that now. Um, I'm trying to come out early and say, hey, you know, um, we're working on this, you know, do you think it's interesting, you know, um, uh, and, and trying to see whether there's, there's, there's an opportunity for, um, for getting external capital. But uh, I, think, I think it's important to, to focus on the product um, and to try and get, you know, some initial customers. Uh, I mean, once, once you do that, I mean, there's some validation that what you're doing, um, you know, actually um, matters and uh, is, is, a, is, I mean, is a service or is a product that people actually want. So, um, you know, one, once you get those, those first three customers, I think that that should be the point where, you know, you would say, okay, you know, we need to accelerate, you know, let's try and get uh, capital. So, um, yeah, so, so that business did, did actually scale so well. Um, I'm, it's still active, but I'm in the process of reintegrating it into um, the business I'm doing now. Um, uh, because a lot, of the, a lot of the things that we're doing with that are complementary to, uh, to Restive. Um, so I, I'm trying to just um, reintegrate that into Restive and, um, and take it from there. So the let's, let's go forward to Restive. When, when you started it a couple of years ago. And why did you start it? What, what kind of problems uh, have you encountered that you wanted to solve? Um, actually, the reason why I started Restiv was um, in, in 2012, I was, I was trying to, um, I mean, responsive web design was, you know, was a growing um, methodology. I mean, mobile devices were really growing, you know, really fast. And websites, you know, websites weren't coping. You know, websites were... Um, we're having a hard time, or users were having a hard time, you know, um, using websites uh, which were not customized for, for mobile devices. So um, uh, around 2011, 2012, I was, I was trying to learn, you know, responsive web design and how everything worked. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, I read a couple of articles and... Um, you know, I was trying to get 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 around the uh, all the methodologies like media queries and all that, and, and I just I just ended up becoming like really frustrated at the workflow um, because there was there was way too much uh, um, uh, way too much testing for one the testing that that that, that was required to um, uh, to build a responsive website was ridiculous. I mean, um, there's this tweet from uh, from from Luke Robloski, if I got his name right, um, that showed all these uh, devices, you know, that that you that you had to test your website on, and, and there were probably twenty or thirty. Um, so so um, I it, 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 that that frustrated me, and I was I was trying to find an easier way um, to to build a website, uh, a responsive website, and that's that's really where the idea for. Um, for rest of came uh, came about. Um, I just wanted a, a set and forget um, way to just you know what this this website is going to adapt. Uh, it's going to have to adapt to different devices. So um, I need a way to keep track of, of the devices that this website is going to be on. So I need if this website is being accessed by phone, you know I want to be able to know that instantly. If it's a tablet, I want to be able to know that instantly. Um, if it's uh, if it's uh, you know if it's in if it's in portrait orientation, I want to be able to know that instantly. You know, so uh, some of these uh, uh, I guess some of these um, you know notifications or the status of the website um, while it was these devices was not commonplace. I mean, it, it was you, you had to use media queries or nothing. You know, and I I, I just. I was just a bit frustrated with with that, so I just thought I'd build um, a plugin just to help me personally, um, you know, build a better website. And and I did that, and you know, um, I decided, hey, you know, if, if if I'm having this problem, you know, some other, some other developers might also be, you know, be, be be frustrated as well. So I just I just put the uh, I just put the code up on GitHub and um, you know, reached out to a couple of uh, uh, blogs. Becky Boy was one of them to, um, you know, to write some uh, getting started articles, and you know the that you know it, it just it just went up it just went up from there. So I, I got I got a couple of um, uh, got a couple of responses by 
you know, different people who, who wanted to like build websites and like, hey, I, I saw, you know, I read about this and, you know, you know, I'm thinking, thinking maybe you could help out with the website. So, so that, that came, uh, that, that brought another idea. So I was like, hey, if, if people are having issues with their responsive website or with their website that they want to make responses, uh, responsive, um, you know, I could, I could provide services, you know, um, to help them, uh, to help them out. So I just said, okay, why not, why not just start a company to, uh, to do that? So, I mean, that's, that's pretty much how the idea for, uh, for Restive, uh, uh, came about. Um, so it's, it's still bootstrapped. I mean, there's no outside capital. Um, it's pretty much just me and, and a remote team every now and then, uh, uh, doing things, but, you know, um, we're, we're looking at launching a couple of, uh, interesting products, uh, this year and very early next year. Um, so hopefully, once we do that, you know, we'd, we'd see if we could, um, if we could get, um, get some, some other, some other, um, outside capital involved, if possible, you know, yeah. and, uh, and try to grow the company from there. So there is the rest of, uh, JS, which is, uh, which is the open source, uh, you say plugin, is it a plugin to jQuery or? Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually right now it's a jQuery plugin, um, but we, we've 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 want, we've completely changed. Maybe we can talk talk about that if there's time later. But we've we've completely um, rebuilt um, rebuilt it from the, from scratch, and um, we've actually built a second toolkit, which is uh, targeted more at um, people who want to get more out of um, uh, CSS. It, it's 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 a bit difficult to explain. Um, it's 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 always better when you're able to demo. Um, okay, this is what this toolkit is, and this is what it's about. But basically, we're trying to help uh, web designers and developers um, build better websites in less time and with less stress. You know, because um, today building a website is still incredibly uh, complicated, even for experienced web designers and experienced web developers. It's still really complicated to build, you know, a website that is responsive and you know um you know and it's and it's and has good uh, performance uh, characteristics it's it's really a tough thing to do so we, we want to simplify that process for uh for the for designers and also for developers as well so these are two these are two main groups that we're we're trying to target with the plugin it's it's also it's also going to be a free and open source uh plugin um, so you know anyone anyone can access it for free uh, and use it but there are a couple of things that we're trying to build around the plugins and around some of the techniques that we've developed um, um, thus far uh, that that are also commercial so you know that's why it's you know it's um, it, but but uh, open source is important you know to me because um, you know I, I personally have used tons of uh, uh, open source technology. I mean, MySQL, PHP, um, jQuery, you know, there's, there's tons of uh, open source tech out there that, that has really been, um, you know, beneficial, uh, you know, and inspirational to me. So I feel, I feel it's important to, um, to also contribute as well. And, you know, if you're building something that, that helps you and that makes your life easier, I think it's, I think it's only, it's only right to have um, that technology to be accessible uh, to every developer, any anywhere they may be. Okay. So I think that that just makes the ecosystem uh, much better and stronger. So do I understand that this second product, the second uh, plugin, is not uh, available on GitHub yet, right? Uh, no, it's not available on GitHub yet, but it will be um, very early next month. Okay. Well, 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 yeah, it's actually built. It's it's. In fact, it's actually running on the Restive JS website right now. Um, so we're, we're kind of like testing it, dog fooding it, um, and we're really, really happy with, with with how it works. We're really impressed. I mean, with with you know what we've been able to uh, accomplish with it. But uh, this time we want to. Um, the last time with Restive JS, we um, we didn't do so well on the content. Um, side of things like the documentation wasn't fantastic you know um, 
there, there, there were tons of tutorials I had planned to do that I, I just didn't get around to uh, to doing. So this time, you know, I want to I want to make good this time. You know, I want to make sure that the documentation is um, is really good. That we have, you know, uh, tutorials. You know, um, I mean, we have we have over over 200 and uh, about 200 plus tutorials planned for both toolkits uh, combined. So. You know, just just enough content for developers to to really pour over and access and like you know get better using using the toolkit. So we're just trying to learn from the mistakes we made the last time. Um, that's why it's taking this long. But really, it's uh, it's built, it's working. Um, we just want to take our time to really test it and just to make sure that it works. Um, it works. Uh, it works really well because um, nobody likes. Uh, I, you know, I don't know about you, but nobody. I, I personally don't like even if the software is open source. I, I don't like it when there are tons of bugs in it. I, I want to be able to use it and know that you know, you know, someone someone has tested this and uh, you know it's working and it's 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 doing what you know. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it was intended. To so, do. so just for closing uh, this uh, interview. Uh, how can people get started with, or where can people go to get started with uh, RESTIF.js, and how can they maybe help you, if uh, there's any way they can uh, help you? Okay, well, we, we actually we actually just redesigned the, the website. It's the same same domain we've we've used before. Um, I mean, they can get access to it at RESTIF.js. That's uh, I guess just r e s t i v e j s dot com. Um, and um, yeah, it, it, I mean, there's a, there's a link to the GitHub uh, to the GitHub repo right right on the homepage, so uh, you know they can they can get they can they can start playing with that because um, you know when when uh, the next toolkit comes out, um, it, 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 it it's going to be much easier to use if if you're familiar with um, with RESTIF.js and and why it exists. You know, it's uh, um, yeah. So I mean, that's uh, that's the website that they can uh, they can get access to uh, to the toolkits, um, and yeah, they can also. I mean, they can also go to uh, Restive.io, which is um, which is the website for Restive the company, and uh, you know, I, that, there's some more information on some of the products we're we're working on. So I mean, we we definitely appreciate uh, the feedback um, if there are any ideas for how we could improve or you know what else? You know developers, you know might might have some issues with. We definitely love to to hear what what problems they're having today, and uh, and see if we could uh, we could uh, fix that either with the toolkits that we already have or maybe something new. Um, but, but we're working on a couple of things that I think would uh, uh, designers and developers would find uh, would find really really useful. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Do you have any? Uh, things that we haven't uh, mentioned earlier that you would like to, to mention or shout, shout, shout out to some people. Um, well, I, I just like to thank uh, I just like to thank the uh, I guess the, the web community. Anyone working on any open source uh, products, you know, or projects, um, you know, I, I think you know it, we don't we don't really recognize uh, these people. They they're behind you know funny avatars and. Uh, you know, and <laughs> and uh, and and probably in, in a place like GitHub that n not everybody like visits. So I, I think it's it's only fair to uh, to just you know I mean I'm inspired by by a lot of projects that I see every day, and um, you know people are just helping out. They're not asking for anything, just trying to you know trying to put something out there to help to help someone else. So uh, you know I'm really appreciative to to the community, and I also personally am. Uh, I'm also trying to do this, uh, do what we're doing to also help uh, other developers, just like you know I've been helped, you know. So it's just a paid forward kind of thing. So shout out to uh, shout out to the open source community and everyone doing uh, doing working on the project in uh, open source tech. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for coming on to the interview. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye bye. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Yeah, bye.